things to add about these galleries. Um, you can also adjust the size of them. So um, let's look at this here. This is, I size this in proportion to this painting, but if I move it up or down, you'll, you can kind of see how it's cropping it a little differently. If I make it larger, it's going to crop it side to side. Um, so you can kind of find that sweet spot by kind of dragging it until you kind of see where it's not getting cut off on, on either side and then you know that that's the right proportion. Um, you can also come into the settings and you can adjust it here. You can use like a fit option instead of auto crop. I do like auto crop because it fills the, the whole area of the slide to the edges whereas the fit kind of it'll just depend on the the proportions of the image. Um, so I don't think it always looks quite as good this way. Um, so I like to use that auto crop. Let's go back into that and come here to auto crop. And then you'll see there's a whole bunch of other settings here too. You can add navigation arrows. I don't like to do that in this case because we don't want to cover up the painting. Um, there's also a play button that appears in this top right area that you can show or hide. You can also decide if you want it to auto play or not. Um, here. I like having an autoplay because then people know that it's it's a gallery. Um, there's also this, that how many seconds that they last, so you can adjust these, make them shorter or longer if you want. Um, they are, applies it applies to every image, so you can't adjust the timing of any one image, but you can adjust the timing of the slideshow in general. You can also come down here and decide if you want them to go anywhere. You could link this, for example, to a blog post if you want to link them to read more about the painting and the progress. Um, you can also have a pop-up. I like the pop-up because it just goes a little bit bigger and then they can also navigate that. Um, and I'll show that uh, in a second here. There's also different transition effects. I definitely like the fade one best. These vertical and, and horizontal ones, they kind of like move it very, uh, it's annoying it, and it certainly doesn't work for <clears throat> this application. So use the crossfade. Um, but let's look at this and you can kind of see how they change. So that's kind of a vertical thing. I don't like those at all. They make my eyes hurt, so don't use them. <laughs> but um, maybe some in some applications it might come in handy. I don't know. But let's go back down here. We're going to put it back on the crossfade. Uh, you can also adjust how long the fade lasts. Five, about half a second is, I think, fine. Um, and then make sure you hit publish every time you're done making changes to this. So I just want to show a couple more things of yeah, how you resize this, how you can um, uh, adjust it if you want to make some adjustments to the speed of it or um, also how it crops. But again, auto crop usually is your best bet, especially if it's all the same painting, same proportions, it really works uh, best and it, I think it just looks cleaner and nicer on the page.